The local three storm alert team. I'm sure a lot of you watching the show this morning either know someone or perhaps you yourself are suffering from arthritis. While we often think about that perhaps affecting your shoulders or your uh, hips, it often affects individual parts of your hand. And this morning, we're going to talk with Dr. Robert Masty from the Center for Sports Medicine. Specifically, the topic is your thumb and arthritis in your thumb. So, so nice to talk to you this morning. Well, so nice to be here. Thank you for asking me. You know, once you begin to think about it, what a logical point of conversation because we really can't function without our thumbs. And yet, if you've got that arthritis in there, that's truly crippling for people. That is true. That is true. That's the first uh, common site of uh, involvement, and that's what brings uh, a lot of people to see me. So I, my younger daughter actually is taking an anatomy class right now in school and she was talking to me last night about 206 bones in the body and how many you have in your hands and that you have in your feet. So when you begin to look inside your thumb, Dr. Masty, there are multiple components of that thumb that could get the arthritis. Is that right? That is true, but uh, several, uh, there are several joints of the thumb. Uh, the more distal near the uh, nail plate, the nail that's called the DIP joint that or the IP joint that's uh, fairly common that's where uh, cysts can form uh, if you, as you move closer to the hand that's called the MP joint and that uh, can become uh, quite painful and stiff but that's the least involved probably the most involved uh, and painful thumb uh, joint is the CMC joint and that's at the base of the thumb and does that tend to be the more common area where people have problems? That's the one that that's the one that uh, causes most problems, and they come and see me for that. So, so, I would think that means if it's down here at the base of your thumb, where your thumb meets your hand, you can't you can't even close your hand easily, can you? Well, uh, right. Uh, what happens is over time, just pinching and grabbing objects become a problem. And uh, first, it's mild. It's only noted with uh, opening up a, a, a pickle jar or something heavy. But over time, it becomes uh, more painful, even at rest. Uh, and that's, that's a problem. And, um, and that's why it affects people uh, tremendously. OK, so do you, do you fix it necessarily, like with a topical cream? Do you wear a brace? Is surgery the required treatment? How do you handle that? So we first start off with some simple measures. There's over-the-counter drugs. We have uh, non-steroidals if you can take that. You can also take some um, uh, acetaminophen, Tylenol, uh, just simple things. Yes, there's over-the-counter uh, over creams such as Voltaren gel. Uh, actually, a recent uh, article came out talking about CBD oil, um, topically applied, may be beneficial. And in, your, and in uh, parts of Europe and in Canada, a CBD, THC um, has been used, uh, but I'm not necessarily recommending that. That's not, um, that's not legal here in the US, the THC. So that's off the table, although I think you can. Um, there are some people who try to get that. Um, but the simple things such as, um, as uh, bracing and um, and avoiding uh, strenuous activities. That's the mainstay. Uh, most people can get by with that. And if that doesn't work, then we can move over to a little bit more invasive, such as a steroid injection. And although that is uh, a little discomfort in the beginning, it is uh, it can provide lots and lots of uh, months and up to years of relief. So let me ask you something. We have like a minute and a half left. So if those steps that we've discussed, the bracing and the steroid injection, if those still prove to not work, is surgery ever something that you turn to? Yes. Uh, after failing all those, we do turn to surgery. And that is one of the, my most uh, gratifying surgeries because the patient's uh, pain relief is very gratifying. Uh, they enjoy the uh, results. It's a... Uh, it's, uh, it's a surgery that uh, takes a couple months to get back mm -hmm. to where you were before, uh, but it's well worth it for those people who have failed uh, 
the basic yeah. uh, simple stuff. Okay, and let me ask you this too. As a general rule, when you hurt, you hurt, and you hate to see it prolonged. So are people going to have to try the other steps, the steroid and injection and the brace, for a long period of time? Well, uh, long enough to know that it's not working. Okay. That. <laughs> that's a, I think that's a very fair answer because each case is different. I know that you see it that's that right. way. Dr. Masti, yeah. you were so kind to break away from your patients this morning to talk to us. Oh, and my pleasure. Remember all those 206 bones that are in the human body. <laughs> you can find Dr. Masti and the entire team at Center for Sports Medicine. Their main office on Macaulay Avenue, 624-2696 is the phone number. Also online at sportmed.com. You heard him say it. The most gratifying part is to help his patients no longer hurt. Thank you. Thank you. I think the importance of memory support programming is the ability to engage their brain in ongoing different ways to keep as many pathways